Okay, so this is the final video in the playlist on finding x. In this particular problem, we've been given a quadrilateral and we've been asked to work out the size of the largest angle. Well, the things that we know are that each of the angles we've been given values of x for, but the other thing that we need to know with this type of question is that all the internal angles of a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So that's the important thing, it's 360 degrees when we add up all of these separate angles. So we'll do that and we'll write it something like this. So I've got x minus 50 is this angle here. I'm going to add it to x plus 30 plus x plus 30. Then I'm going to add that to 2x which is there and I'm going to add that to x plus 80 which is at the bottom there and all of that added together should equal 360 degrees. Okay so and then really it's just a case of tidying this up and working out the value of x. Once we've got the value of x we can put it into one of these angles and work out the size of the largest angle. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to gather like terms. We're going to get all the values of x together and all the values of the numbers together. So here we've got one value of x, two values of x, another two so that's going to be four values of x plus x at the end there, so that's going to work out as 5x. And all we're doing really is just simplifying this rather complicated looking equation. Then we've got to add up the numbers, so I'm going to start with minus 50 plus 30. Well, minus 50 plus 30 is minus 20. Okay, then I've got an 80 here, um, so minus 20 plus 80 is going to give me plus 60. Okay, so that's these numbers added up and that equals 360. And then it's really just a case of using this equation as a linear equation and solving for x, in other words finding out the value of x. Now in this case I've got 60 here so I'm going to minus 60 from both sides. If I do that I can lose that and I get 5x equals 360 minus 60 is going to be 300. Okay, um, so then I, if I divide through by 5, I'm going to get my value of x. So divide by 5, I get x. And divide by 5, this side, I get 300. Divided by 5, that's going to be 60. So therefore, x is 60 degrees in all of these uh, cases here. So it means that I can just use that value of x uh, at 60 and work out the value of each of these angles. Now I don't need to work out every single one because I'm looking for the largest angle. Well if I look at this one it's going to be 60 minus 50 so this is going to be 10 degrees so not really worried about that one. Uh, this one at the top here is going to be 60 plus 30 is 90 degrees, not really so concerned. Um, I think it's either going to be this one, which is 2x, or this one, which is x plus 80. Well, 2x is going to be two lots of 60, so this is going to be 120 degrees, and this is going to be 60 plus 80, 140 degrees. So actually, the one at the bottom there, x plus 80, is the largest angle. So the size of the largest angle is going to be 140 degrees and I'm going to write just x plus 80 in there just to make it clear that it's that particular one. I hope that's been okay for you. Please do have a look at the uh, website. There will be some more questions on this that you can go and download. Have a go at them for yourself. Uh, add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. Subscribe to the site. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.